All right, guys, this is just a quick video teaching you how to get texture from Substance Painter onto the Unreal Engine 4. So for that, once we're done painting the asset, we will want to export it as texture files. So let's go to File, go to Export Textures to get ourselves the window. And now we'll want to use the Unreal Engine 4 packed since it gives us quite a nice output. So Unreal Engine 4 packed will basically give you base color as RGB and then it'll pack ambient occlusion, roughness and metallic channels into RGB colors within one file which will give us a more optimized result that we are going to be able to use so anyway let's go ahead and select it Unreal Engine 4 packed like so also changing the size to 2048 if you want you can change it all the way to 4k scaling but I'll keep it as this. Then let's go ahead and click export. And after which, let's get ourselves within the Unreal Engine 4. I've gotten myself an empty project file that I can use. And I will simply create myself a folder just to keep myself organized. So within this, let's get ourselves the import. I'm just going to import the 3D model first real quick, like so. If you're interested in my settings, you can always pause and give it a quick check. But basically that's what I'm using. I'm just going to import it as it is. And afterwards, we don't really need to use this material so we can delete it since we're making a new one. Just click force delete. Doesn't really matter at the moment. Now we're going to import ourselves the textures that we need. So you're going to have yourselves three files. Or if you're using a mission or something of the sort, you might have an extra one. Just by dragging and dropping it like so, then automatically it'll sort it out as it is. You'll get the normal map assigned as normal map, but you do need to do one more thing, and that is to get the proper masking, you'll need to change the way you need to change the way this combined texture map is being used. And so we'll need to first of all double click on it. To get this sort of a window then we'll need to turn off the srgb since as it says if we hover over it we need to uncheck it if we're using alpha channels individualized masks which is what we are doing so let's go ahead and uncheck it then afterwards we can hit close like so and for material we're going to right click create new material like so once we created our material we can double click on it to go inside of it and then all we need to do is select all of our texture maps, drag and drop them into the file, into the grid like so. So first of all, we'll need to adjust the albedo map, which is going to be our base color. So the base color one is going to go for the RGB channel into the base color like so. Then afterwards we can Take care of the normal map right away. RGB, drag and drop to normal, like so. Then afterwards, we're going to do the combined texture map. And if you're wondering how to do the RGB, how to attach it to the roughness, ambient occlusion, and metallic channels, it's basically going to be in the same order as it's written. So if you hover over, over the naming, you see that the naming is going to be underscore occlusion roughness metallic so the occlusion is going to be red so drag and drop into the ambient occlusion like so then the next one roughness is going to be green so we're just going in an orderly manner roughness and then finally blue one is going to be metallic like so since we're using every single channel of the color as a separate mask then afterwards, we can close it down and it'll ask you to save it. We can save it as it is. And then double click on an object that you've imported. Drag and drop it into the slot like so for the material. We can then close it down. And finally, we can drag the object into the scene. Which is going to have our material set on it. One more thing before we end it, if you're planning to have multiple objects within a scene, instead of keeping this as just a simple material, 
you should probably know how to make yourselves a material instance instead. So for that, you need to double click on this, change all these textures into the parameters, which you can do so by right clicking on each and every single one of them and changing it to a parameter. So by doing that, you can then call it base color. Right click on this one as well, changing it to parameter and calling this one AO roughness metallic channel like so. So all I'm doing is by changing it to parameters, we're going to be able to change it to material instance and after which we're going to be able to adjust these texture maps from the instance itself. So this one is going to be a normal map, like so. And now that we're done with this, we can go ahead and exit it, save it, to, by changing this to parameters. We can now go ahead and right click on the material and select the option to create material instance. By doing this, if you open it, you'll notice that you get yourself a material with the parameters set up. So if we were to enable it, if we were to have a different object, we'd be able to simply change the material for it. With this, we're going to be able to create multiple material instances for different objects. Then after which, you'll just have to apply the material instance onto your object within the editor. Then close it down. So anyway, I hope this helps. Bye.